talking to the slightly larger hammer. Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about, or actually I'm going to show you how to change the upper and lower ball joints on a 2004 Dodge Ram, um, as well as the wheel bearing and front U-joints. This uh, has some play in there, and the bearing is starting to go bad. Um, this truck has almost 300,000 miles on it, so we'll go ahead and uh, tear into it. Okay, and I'm going to give you a rundown of what it is we're going to do here. We've got this uh, bolt that keeps the axle on, and you got to make sure that you get this on when you put it back together because if you don't, the bearings will separate. Uh, I know this because I tried swapping these bearings out once a couple years ago, um, and I put brand new ones on there, and I thought I would leave the axles out so that I could uh, change the U-joints at my leisure and then put them back in. Well, I left the axles out, and uh, got it half blocked down the street and the bearings started coming apart. I had to stop the truck where it was and then go put the old bearings back on. So these bearings that are on here are the original bearings. Um, they actually do have 300,000 miles on them. So uh, we're going to take that off. We've got on the back here these two bolts here and here that hold the uh, brake caliper on. And then there's this lower bolt here. Let's see if I can get a good picture of that. So there's one here, so there's two. This one holds the caliper, this one holds the, the caliper mount. And then on top, let's get a picture. This is the one for the caliper, and this one down here is the one for the caliper mount. So we're gonna pull both of those off. Um, and then we'll be able to remove this entire assembly here. This will all come off, and we can take the rotor off. <laughs> then uh, I'll show you the rest once I get that done. The uh, Wheel bearing has four bolts that come in from the back side, um, back in here, that hold the wheel bearing on. Uh, these are the ball joints, the upper ball joint here, um, and the lower ball joint. The lower ball joint's right, right in here. Um, so this nut will, will come off, and there's a keeper that holds both these on. And then the U-joint we're replacing is here. So I'll go ahead and start taking this off. Uh, that'll be the next step. Caliper bolts are 13 millimeter. A little trick for this, you can stick a screwdriver in here and pry like this. Let's take the tension off the caliper. And then what you want to do is uh, get a wire. Hang this up from, let's see here. Hang this up off of this, get it out of the way. Wow, huh. good thing I checked this. Take a look at the pads left on this. It was on the uh, scraper there, almost into the metal. Yeah, so to hang the uh, brake caliper here, I am just using the one of the S hooks from a, one of those rubber bungee cords. It seems to work pretty good. You'll also need to disconnect the ABS uh, sensor. The plug is on the back of the thing here, um, splash guard, and then this goes down to the back of the wheel bearing here. So I'll just unplug that and hang it off to the side. Now the easiest way to get these bolts off for the uh, caliper mount is to use an impact wrench. It's an 18 millimeter. Um, With these two bolts off, your caliper mount comes off. And then you can just pull your brake rotor off. Now, here's the wheel bearing. Oh boy. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Let's so get the camera close, you can hear it. Okay, listen to this. You hear that? bearing noise yeah they definitely need to be replaced all right so the next step is to take there's four bolts here that uh, hold this in and I may end up using an impact wrench on this we'll see there's 
one loose. It's too loose. If you are on the East Coast or somewhere where there's snow and salt on the road, you'll probably not have it that easy. Let's see if this works. Get a little extension on here. Buried in the back here. Probably also helps that I've had this off before, so it's not quite as tight as it could be. Okay, so the correct socket size is 1 and 11 16, so we'll see if it'll bust loose. I've got an adapter here, half inch to three quarter to go on my impact wrench. I'm going to go into a three quarter inch one on 11 16 socket. So there's the washer and the nut. Set that down here on my stack of stuff. And then, uh, once again, if you're on the East Coast or somewhere where they salt the roads, you're probably going to have a bit more of a hard time getting this off. Discard. Here's the old wheel bearing. The uh, left drive axle. Let's see if it'll pop out. U joints still feel good, but uh, I'll go ahead and change them anyways. And then. Upper and lower ball joints. Yeah, the lower one has a uh, keeper in there, and it drives out that way. And let's we'll see about the top one. I think the top one comes out this direction. Okay, top one is 15 16 See if this will work. See if with a little coaxing, if this will pop off. Talking with a slightly larger hammer. I think that top one is loose, it's just this bottom one. Pickle fork is what I call it. Okay, now what we're gonna do is figure out how to pull this one out. Well, look at that. Let's say it needs to be replaced. I don't think that puller is gonna work. This. I need a pair of ring pliers to pull this snap ring out. And give it a squirt of WD. Okay, there's the snap ring.
Alright, well, scratch that idea, I guess. Alright, well, the uh, ball joints are on hold at the moment until I uh, get the tool to pull them loose. So, I'll run to the store here in a little bit and get that. Uh, in the meantime, I am working on replacing the U joints. So, pop one of these loose. Um, and pop the other one here. Basically, you grab the C clip and uh, pop it loose. background. Well, there's that one. So basically what I'm doing is these clips are sitting on this direction. So I'm meaning the screwdriver on the end of them and then just pounding it until it pops loose. So this one is right on the end. I just tap it. side. Sorry, you can't see, but I just want to cooperate. Got all four C-clips. Now, we got to pound these caps out. And uh, one of the ways to do that is to rest either side on blocks of wood or something and then pound on this uh, and then flip it over and do the same thing so okay so we've got the uh, blocks of wood here we've got this propped up so hammer for this. Don't use a steel one because the steel will ding up your uh, stuff. Okay, we got one out. Now let's do this one. Way just to rest this on the wood and then just beat it. Might want to do this on a harder surface. On a table with a plywood thing that bounces. Installation is reverse of uh, removal, so what I'm going to do is clean this up with some sandpaper so that the new ones slide in a little easier. All 
right, for the replacement, I got Spicers, uh, 500-6813, this is a 2004 Dodge Ram. Um, so, one of the things you gotta be careful about with these, you gotta be careful not to lose your needle bearings in here. So, on these Spicers, there's a little collar right here. Let those seals snap over and keep it on there nice and tight. Now what we get to do, slide it nice and snug. I'm going to get this together without getting it dirty. And without getting the, the uh, needle bearings off-centered. So what I'm doing right now is double checking to make sure none of the needle bearings popped loose. And this should it up so that your keeper lines up perfect there. Keepers in nice and snug. <clears throat> I'm going to do this a little bit different. Just a smidge of dust on the end of this ball joint here, so I'm just going to knock that off. And then this one goes in. And there we have a new U-joint. Nice and tight. All right, here we are two hours later. Um, still haven't got these things out. Finally decided to go and rent the appropriate tool, a uh, ball joint press.
Who did a eighth of an inch, maybe? So basically, I put this block in here. Uh, help drive it up there initially. Um, I have to find something else once it gets flush here. Oh, there we go, I think we got it. Yep. So, one down. That was a beast. There we go. Alright, tools make all the difference. Finally got these suckers in. Just took a lot of uh, playing around with it with the tool. So now I'm going to put the this keeper in here. This has a grease fitting. Usually eight millimeter. I still have this heavy steering rod connected, the tire rod, so I have to fight with this to get it on. Fun stuff. <laughs> 